And the hurricane has been one of the factors while oil prices have seen a rise overnight. And Manisha Gupta is joining in to tell us more on that and other cues from the commodity space as well. Manisha, good morning. Normal. Thank you for that. Well, yes, three and a half percent of gains in the crude oil price is overnight. Well, there are a couple of reasons for that, and I'll be talking about the hurricane military. 3.4 million houses out of power and 25 percent gas stations out of gas line is definitely one of the factors that is keeping the prices on the higher side. And then it also is about the concerns over Middle East supply disruptions. There are statements from Israel saying that any response to Iran would be lethal, precise, and surprising. And then you also are looking at the rising fuel demand in the U.S., and that clearly has been supported. The U.S. crude inventories while have gained, and uh, that is the reason markets haven't seen a run-up yet to the run, to the to on the higher side to those eighty dollars a barrel. But there has been a gain across metals as a sector as well. The kind of decline that we saw in the last three days seems to have paused. We've seen gold prices edge higher from the lows of 2,608. This is because the U.S. inflation has eased, and there has been a surge in unemployment claims in U.S. supporting gold there. Silver also gained 2% overnight. Copper prices gained up by 1.5% overnight as well. There is a lack of any big additional measures in the extraordinary briefing by China Economic Planning Agency, and that seems to have led the game. Manisha, thanks a lot for that update. All eyes on oil prices after that overnight surge. But with that